You've gained a lot of weight since that painting in the intro. Looking more like a block of salami every video. Keep it up. You're getting really fucking fat, you beautiful human being. Looking extra chunky today. Eric, a thick boy. Fuck off, bitch. You made fun of Nepal. Eric, you fat. You got fat. You got fat, daddy. Chubby Gerald Butler. Holy shit, Eric got fat. Dang, you got hella fat. Lay off the soil, you lard ass. Eric looking chunky as of late. Why you fat? Eric, you fat. Holy shit, you're getting fat. Sweet gut, Eric. Jeez, you are getting Fat, Eric. Damn, you getting fat, son. Damn, I'm getting fat as food. God, you're fat. Are you so sweaty, Are you fatter? Boy? Fat money salvia. Thick. Chubby boy. Cute chubby baby boy. Beer belly salvia. Papa looking dummy thick. Eric is getting what a fat, fat again. Fuck. You're getting fatter. Lose weight, Eric. Me too, thanks. You got fat, Eric. Eric building the chum. Getting fat, Eric. Holy Eric, shit. Eric, getting big, Guess daddy. Guess back to being fat, Eric. Eric must again. be pissed that they've deep faked his face on a fat oh, guy. Oh, Eric, you gained some Eric, weight. Eric, you're now fatter than me I too, am. Me too, thanks. You just married did Eric get fatter. Getting fatter by the month. Hey, Eric. Fuck you. Eric, you fat. Did Eric get fatter again? Holy shit, you've gotten fat as fuck. Wait, what? Oh, oh my god. When the fuck did this happen? What? No, no. Hello, and welcome to a brand new season of Internet Comment Etiquette. I used to look like that. Welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. Oh, I know you guys. Oh, You're the donkey man. Hello, and welcome to Driving on Salvia. What? Hello, and welcome to Internet Comment Etiquette. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Two hundred and forty pounds. I can't believe I didn't see this happening. Is this part of getting older, or, or did I do something wrong? I don't even know how much I'm supposed to weigh right now. Maybe Robot can help. Hey, uh, Robot, can you do me a favor? Yo, bro? what? Uh, oh my God, dude, what the hell happened to you? I don't know, man. My body just kind of fell apart on me. Not as bad as yours did, though. Ha, ha, ha. You know what? I'm going to give you that one. Anyway, I wanted you to Google my BMI to see how much I'm supposed to weigh, but you don't even have any fucking arms. BMI? That's easy. You just divide your weight by your height in square inches and then multiply by 703. Okay, well, what is six feet tall divided... You are five foot eleven. Uh, if... Five, five foot eleven and two hundred and th uh, two. 200, I'm, I'm 240 pounds. Boop, bop, beep, you are obese. No fucking way. No, I'm not. Your BMI is 33.5. Anything over 30 is obese. Your normal weight should be closer to 180 pounds. 108? And I'm 240. Yeah, man, you really crashed into your 30s with a vengeance. And I mean that for both your age and your BMI. How did I let this happen? I don't know. Mm, mm. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, listen, uh, I'm not here to lecture anybody on what to do with their own bodies, because for all I know, you're sitting there with perfect six-pack abs, looking all hot and shit. No, today's lesson is for people like me. People who have let their health become unimportant over time for whatever reason. And uh, I think that in all of my indulgences, I may have forgotten what the importance of health truly is. So now I'm on a journey to remember, and you're welcome to come along with me. And I'm sure we'll learn some important internet comment etiquette as we go. Now, first order of business is a big fucking uh, stupid gut that I got all of a sudden, so that's why I'm going to go to YouTube and search for how do I get skinny fast and go. Okay, so here's how to lose weight in five days without going hungry from Dr. Oz. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Ah! Oh, oh, God. Okay, well... It's probably time to tell you guys something about me. Um, I have kind of like what you would call a, a crippling phobia of Dr. Oz. I don't know, it's something about it, him. It just freaks me out. If I see his face, I feel like I'm gonna die. So let's see if we could try this without finding any Dr. Oz videos. Oh, here's one. How to follow the grapefruit diet. As long as it's not Dr. Oz and play. How to follow the grapefruit diet. Investigate to see if this citrus-based diet, which started back in the 1930s, is the weight loss plan for you. All right, well, let's take this lesson to the kitchen. Eat two eggs and two slices of bacon for breakfast. Mm. Supplemented by either half a grapefruit or eight ounces of unsweetened grapefruit juice. What's for dinner? Step four. Eat a lunch that includes half a grapefruit or eight ounces of unsweetened grapefruit juice and as much meat and salad as you want. 
The grapefruit was first described in 1750 as the forbidden fruit of Barbados. Oh man, now that's my kind of diet. I feel healthy already. Let's see what kind of comments uh, people are leaving here. It would be a shame if you did not get ripped when normal people are able to burn up fat easily with blistering fat loss. Check it out on Google. Weight loss programs are dying for people to try their products to show that they really do help you lose weight. Well, I discovered a website that will send free test products to your home. It's the best way to get free diet supplements. Have a look here. Shady Link. Weight loss programs are dying for people to try their products to show that they really do help you lose weight. Well, I discovered a website that will send free test products to your home. It's the best way to get free diet supplements. Shady Link. My classmates laugh when I told them I was going to get rid of fat with Cosmos Fat Loss, but then I showed them the results. Do a search on Google for Cosmos Fat Loss to see the reaction. You should see the shock! If you seriously want to get rid of fat quickly, you should Google Swift Fat Loss. That might help you get the body you deserve. It would be a shame if you did not bulk up when these other people do it easily using Trim Fat Maximizer. Go Google it. Hi, I'm James. I did negative 40 pounds last two months. Open at odiet.com. Hi there. Have you heard about atomic fat loss? Check on Google. You will learn about the crimes we commit against our bodies with atomic fat loss. You will discover how to burn fat fast. Interesting video. By the way, my mate found this very popular fat loss diet named Fat360 Nuke and decreased 16 pounds within a month. Cannot really remember the site. Just Google it. Can I use microwave bacon instead of cooking bacon? I do. Wow, there's so many helpful people here giving links to websites and sharing and, and giving and, and loving. It's no wonder people resort to the internet for all of their health advice. And I mean, if we're sharing website URLs, well, I want to get in on that. Boy, you'd sure hate yourself if you didn't get skinny on the Kiss a Bro diet. That's right, every time you feel a craving for bad carbs and sugars, you just turn to your nearest bro and kiss him right on the mouth like he's your girlfriend. He'll be like, whoa, bro, what the hell was that? And then the two of you can talk it out, after which you'll be so embarrassed you never want to touch another hamburger again. Or you bros have sex and burn off a bunch of calories, so even if you do get a burger, it's just going to get processed into pure muscle. I've only heard about this diet, though. I have no affiliation with it whatsoever. But if you do go to your browser's URL bar and type in Kiss a Bro, and then at .com to the end. It'll give you more information on how to lose weight so fast people are going to think you caught a virus from some third world country like Florida or Portland. Remember that's kiss a bro and then .com comes after it. Or Google it. I don't know. I'm not your fucking dad and post. And register kissabro.com and forward that to Goatsy. Oh wait. No, that's not a healthy choice. No, I, I can't just be some fat guy sending people to Goatsy online. I'm gonna send it to the Rainforest Alliance. Yeah, that's a healthy choice. And you know, while I'm at it, I probably didn't need to eat that entire slab of roast beef for dinner. And I definitely don't need to eat this dessert hoagie, so get the fuck out of here. Stupid piece of shit dessert hoagie, fuck you. Hey, you know what? I think I'm starting to remember what the importance of health is a little bit. Yeah, it's got something to do with, like, watching my calories, so... I guess maybe I don't need to eat 16 grapefruits a day, so long as I just make sure my calorie intake is less than what my body requires. That's, that's easy enough. It's way better than buying grapefruits. Those motherfuckers are not cheap. Oh, and exercise, too. What? Oh my god, I totally forgot about exercise. Yeah, that's important. I've been leading this sedentary lifestyle the last four years. No wonder I'm obese. I, I still can't believe I'm obese. So anyway... Let's see if we can find some exercises. Uh, exercises to lose weight and search and Dr. Oz! Welcome to a brand new workout from my friend Sean T. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, so much Dr. Oz! God damn it! Who's willing to admit, admit they, they got, got a little, little bit of back fat? What does it feel like to realize that you got rid of this? It's disgusting. Ew, random click! Random click! Brazilian booty burn workout. Burn to the beat. I'm Kiara Lachey, and this is Brazilian Booty burn. I got Let's get started with Let's some fast that. feet. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Woo! Have some fun with it. You can look from side to side, get a little sassy if you want to. Hey. Woo! A few more. You got it. Let's go. Love this seems so fun, smiley face. One, two, three, four. You got it just like that. Hey! Yes! Woo! Love her energy. She is amazing. Kiara, you are my favorite. Well, the guys in the back are having the time of their life. Woo! Hey! Come on! Yes! Hey! Don't give up! Four more! Let's go! Four! Three! Two! You know what? I'm a sexy bitch, and I deserve this. And I'm gonna light up this booty like a holiday menorah. Woo! I'm 10 and I'm being bullied because I'm chubby and I finally found someone who has a good attitude and makes me want to work. Thank you so much. One, two, three, come on. Woo! Come on. Yes, come on. 
on. You got it. Don't you give up. I'm not really giving up, push. Sierra. Push! I'll never give up. Push! I lose two pounds in ten days. Damn, so proud. Thank you, Kiara. Smiley face, love you. I just love her energy. Kiara's workout is very fun and effective, and I've seen a huge change in body. I love this dance cardio workout. Kiara is awesome. Come on, let's go! <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Two more! I want to dress like these ladies. Where'd they get their outfits? I love you guys. Keep dancing. Bye. Thank you, smiley face. Oh my god, that was amazing. I feel, I feel great. I'm like, not sad anymore. And I, what's weird is I didn't even realize I was sad to begin with. And these comments people are leaving on this video are like, like the best comments I've ever seen on YouTube. This is, this is a revelation. And I can't help it. I, I need to leave a comment as well. After this booty burn workout, I feel like I could soar across the mountains. My muscles pumping with battery acid and life and love in a lightning strike of euphoria that I haven't experienced in nearly half a decade. Thank you, Kiara, for healing not only my booty, but my heart. For while there may be a day when there's nothing left of my booty to burn, in my heart there will always be a candle lit for you and your sage wisdom. Now I must off to bed as I hear the long forgotten call of a restful night. That old foe who I have pursued for many years now. How queer that this chase should end with him catching me. In truth I welcome the embrace as I hope you welcome these words of advocation. And I will indeed keep dancing thanks to you and your unforgettable lesson to me on this day of discovery and adventure. Sincerely, Salvius Dalarunis. And post. Okay, well, I might not know a whole lot about the importance of my body's health, but I know a shitload about the importance of my internet connection's health. And that's why I use today's sponsor, NordVPN.com slash BigBunny! Using a VPN is one of the easiest and most important ways to protect your identity online. And NordVPN.com slash BigMoney comes with the very best features, such as thousands of servers in 60 different countries, no data logging, plus it works in China, so I can show you pictures like this without you losing the ability to buy plane tickets. Oh, also, one other great example is, since I'm connected to the UK, I can watch my favorite British crime drama, Bobbleberry. And it looks like the series finale is coming up. Woo! Alright, let's check out this teaser. Previously on This Week on Nobleberry. Nobleberry found out his partner was strangling all of the prostitutes and plugged him in the gut, which made his partner's more evil twin right man. So he plugged Nobleberry in the gut. And This Week on Nobleberry, we finally find out what happens. How? Oh. Bloody hell, that hurt. Oh dear, I'm in heaven. Hello, Nobleberry. Oh, partner! Uh, what a pleasant surprise. Didn't think I'd be seeing you up here, what with all of the prostitute murders. I was a pious man in life. Easy way in, sounds like. Won't be as easy for you, judging by this little anthology we have here. Yes, do go on. When I saw that you would be joining us, I leapt at the chance to welcome you by reading your sins. Well, I've got time if you do. Sin number one, laying with a prostitute. Well, a boy never forgets his first. Sin number two, laying with a prostitute. Indeed I did. Sin number three, laying with a prostitute. Mm, yes. Sin number five, laying with a prostitute. Mm -hmm. Sin number six, laying with a prostitute. Yes. Sin number seven, laying with a prostitute. Uh, yes. Sin eight, laying with a prostitute. It will go on like that for some time. Sin 3,912. You found a nice lady at a bar. You bought her a drink. You brought her home. You laid with her in bed and had coitus. But upon her falling asleep, you went to her purse, slipped in a hundred quid, and then you snuck out, making it prostitution for no reason at all. Well, it's the only way I can come. And that is how Nobleberry ends. NordVPN.com slash Nobleberry for 70% off a three-year plan. Damn, I can't believe they spoiled the whole ending in the trailer like that. Well, anyway, if you want to support this show and get yourself a healthy internet connection, go to NordVPN.com slash Big Money for 70% off a three-year plan. That's just $3.49 a month plus one month free when you use coupon code Big Money at checkout. Or just use Nobleberry's code, I don't know. All right, back to health. So I'm counting calories. I'm doing the exercise. Now... What's one other way I'm being unhealthy? Maybe you guys at home can help me out. Is there anything you can think of that I'm doing that is unhealthy that I can maybe uh, work on? Just just say it to the monitor real quick. <laughs> My drinking? This? Get the fuck out of here. This is red wine, you idiot. 
This shit's healthy for you. Sorry, winos, red wine is unhealthy. Uh-oh, and play. Today we're talking about red wine. People always say, if you drink a glass of red wine a day, it's good for you. Studies show that. That's actually not true. Sorry, winos. Ah, shit. Now, what are some of the problems with red wine? The first one is that grapes are the most heavily pesticided crop. Ew, pesticides! It's really just not worth it to get all that pancreatic inflammation and inflammation in the body and the neurotoxic effects of the alcohol just to get the resveratrol. Oh, damn it. This guy sounds like he's right. There's a variety of different things that you can do to substitute that glass of red wine and you'd be healthier and better off for it. All right, well, that's a lot to process right there, but in the meantime, I noticed that his comment section is completely empty, so... Howdy, folks. Have you heard of the revolutionary new diet called Run Over a Gypsy's Wife and Get the Thinner Curse? By gum, I've been on this diet for almost a month now after mowing down this old gypsy in front of her husband, causing him to caress my cheek and go, Thinner! And I'll be damned if I haven't lost 60 pounds already. Not only can I see my dick again when I look down, but I can also see this dead gypsy bitch's screaming face every time I look in the mirror. Her laughter echoing up from hell as she watches me waste away into nothing. The joke's on her because I've got like eight different girlfriends now and they all love my sweet new bod. I'm the healthiest I've ever looked and it's all thanks to this one gypsy lady who stepped out in front of my car while I was getting a blowjob from my stupid wife who I'm going to make eat a pie at the end of the movie that kills her to stop the curse but then my daughter eats a piece too and it's real sad so that's a spoiler lol so google it and spoil movie I mean if you haven't seen thinner by now it's really missed the boat on that one that movie came out in like 1996 so I don't know why you'd be mad about that anyway I think the really important thing here is uh, I can't drink red wine anymore I also, I guess it's got like a lot of calories and, and carbs and stuff, but there's got to be like something I can drink that's healthy because I'm not going to stop drinking. I'm just going to stop drinking that, but I'm still going to keep drinking. So let's find something I can drink that's still healthy. Low calorie drinks and go. It's five o'clock somewhere. Oh, right? no. oh, fuck. Close, 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 close. Stupid Dr. Oz, how is that guy in every single search result? It's insane. Ugh. All right. I'm just going to check Bing. Lowest calorie alcohol. Search. What alcohol has the least amount of calories and why? Vodka is soda. Okay, so it's a vodka soda. That's uh, good enough for me. I, I don't even know why because I already got the vodka and I already got the soda. Here we go. A little bit of this. Do a little bit of this. and us uh, try this shit out. Oh. Oh, ugh, ugh. oh, that tastes like fucking shit. Oh, wait, wait, maybe if I skip the soda, do a LaCroix instead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. This is my new drink. Fuck you, red wine. Now I'm drinking LaCroix and vodkas. And Woo, that hits, that hits fast. Okay, I need to dance. I... I want to dance!
just like that. I remember. Ah, yes, just as I thought. The last three weeks of calorie counting, healthy eating, and booty burn dancing has indeed revealed to me the secrets of the importance of health. I now know all. But the answers are just too verbose for me to say right now without some pontification. So I must retire to my study and put together what will be one of the most important endings to a lesson I have ever done in my long tenure as an etiquette teacher. Stick around. You're not going to want to miss this. Teacher Salvia really fucked up. Turns out I've been uh, kind of like blackout drunk the last three weeks, so anything that I learned in that time is uh, completely gone, which makes me sad again. Uh, why wasn't I already sad? Oh, god damn stupid vodka LaCroix, you got me too drunk. Well, you know what happens when you're trying to get healthy and you fuck it up. That's right, you punish yourself, which for me means I'm gonna force feed myself Dr. Oz videos until I'm crying in fear. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Let me search for it hurts when I fart and search and yep, there he is. Dr. Oz explains gas. I deserve this and play. Did your stomach ever feel so gassy? It's sort of like this balloon. You think your pants are gonna pop? I'm not alone. Well, you're so gassy that your stomach starts making noises like uh, <laughs> right? And they go. Wait, why isn't this doing anything? So when are you most gassy? Oh, I wake up in the morning every morning feeling gassy and bloated and backed up. I should be freaking out right now. What what the hell's going on? So when do you normally suffer with gas? Practically all day long, but mostly at I eat. This isn't scary at all. Why why was I ever afraid of this to begin with? Who was farting during this video? I was. I just farted. I came here because I need to fight. I'm hurting so bad. My stomach hurts so bad from these gas pains. It all starts, of course, with the food you eat. It doesn't have to even be the wrong food. You put food in your mouth, it goes down through your stomach, your stomach. See how it's sort of moist? Go ahead and feel that. I love God so much, but sometimes I wish we didn't have a back end or gas. What does God have to do with your disgusting ass and farts? I love to fart in elevators. Who else farted watching this? I fart constantly lately. I don't know why. I've never farted so much in one day. That's why I'm here. As I get older, my farts are now just falling out of the bunghole. I need a more enzyme. Gassy is natural. It turns me on in women. Natural can easily tolerate and make out with a woman through the stinkiness. Farts for life? <laughs> These comments are great. And I'm... I'm not scared of Dr. Oz anymore. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, well, I may be an unhealthy piece of shit with absolutely no hope, but I did conquer a phobia of mine that's been sort of debilitating over the years. I wonder if that has anything to do with the stuff that I've been uh, achieving in the last three weeks that I can't remember. Nah, who knows? What I do know is that I'm about to do something that I never thought would be possible. Leave a comment on a Dr. Oz YouTube video. Hey, you'd be an absolute piece of shit idiot if you didn't lose weight with the Fat Cancel 5000 diet. Go ahead and Google it, but basically what happens is you find your excess fat's personal Twitter account and go through all of its old tweets until you find something problematic. Then you forward those tweets to the Wall Street Journal or Vox or Medium or whatever newspaper hires dirty snitches these days, and then you get that fat canceled! I lost 50 pounds overnight when I found a tweet from my excess fat that said women can't do comedy, and now my beer gut had to move back in with its parents because nobody wants to hire it. Take that belly fat, you fucking fascist! Hell, it's so easy, even someone from Nepal could do it. Wait, oh shit, I didn't mean that. No, don't cancel me. Sincerely, Dr. Fartman Penis Nipples. And post! Okay, well, this sure was a lot of time spent on achieving absolutely nothing. Weird how that works, but hey, that's health for you. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's time for me to do my final weigh in monologue, so excuse me one second. I gotta do this.
They thought I was going to make a serious video about staying healthy. <laughs> Fools. I hope they like half-hour YouTube videos that go nowhere and have no lesson at the end. Well, now they'll know this is what happens when you walk into my classroom and disrespect teacher. This is what you get. Oh, hey guys, I guess some of you had some shit you wanted to say to me. Eric, you're fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. You've gained a lot of weight since that painting in the intro. You sound like you can't keep your sister's dick out of your mouth. Shut the fuck up. And discipline. Holy shit, Eric got fat. I'm gonna use my Nord money to buy your house and kick you the fuck out of it. Why are you so sweaty, Pudge Boy? I can fuck you with all 353 Imperial Japanese aircraft at Surprise Attack Pearl Harbor and you'd still be asking me whether it's in yet. Discipline. Dang, you got hella fat. Lay off the soil, you lard ass. At least I'm not a virgin like your dad or a whore like your mom. And discipline. What a fat fuck. Yeah, no shit. Hey, when you watch this part of the video, check out what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh, am I gonna do it? Am I gonna do it? Oh, yep, yep, I'm gonna do it. God, you're fat. Or VPN.com slash big money for 70% off a three year plan plus one month free when you use coupon code big money. Also, fuck you. And discipline. Holy shit, you've gotten fat as fuck. My tits are so huge that my nipples act as sundials, but you're still the biggest bitch in this comment section. And discipline. Lose weight, Eric. I'd rather lose you down a mine shaft than take a shit in the hole after you. Discipline. Damn, Eric, you totally blew my mind defaking yourself as a fat guy. My name's spelled with a fucking K, you idiot. Discipline. You got fat. Yeah, I'm fat, but unlike you, I'm also happy, so go fuck yourself. And discipline. You're getting fatter. Only thing fatter than me right now is the fat chance you have of finding someone to love you. And discipline. Beer belly shot. Wow, that's so funny, you earned a shout out. Here's a link, check it out, thanks again, and it goes to Goatsy and Discipline! Getting fatter by the month? All your friends think you're annoying and that's why they don't invite you out anymore. And Discipline! Guess he's back to being fat Eric again. I know it sucks, but tell me, what's it like to still have less sex appeal than a fat YouTuber? Look at this and Discipline! And yeah, uh, ooh, teacher Savvy was mean to me. Suck it up, you little pussies. Where the fuck do you think you are? Because I know you don't think you're in my classroom coming in here, leaving 8,000 comments about how fat I've gotten. As if I'm not going to respond with a booty dance montage where I flop my dick around in front of the camera and tell you all to go fuck yourselves. Holy shit. One second. Take a look at this. This is what today's lesson was supposed to be on. I was going to do a lesson on puppies. But then I saw all those comments you guys were leaving and I was like, mmm, they don't deserve it. They need to learn something else. So tell me, students, what did you learn today? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mwah. Big money, Sally, a city. Big Hello, I'm Ridley Main Quarterchop, star of the hit TV show Nobleberry. Now, recently we aired our final episode, and it did not go well. You hated it, you said there were plot holes, that the whole final season was a waste of time, it's as if someone else took the reins and fucked it up. I. okay, sure, I. Uh, whatever you say, but you know, you're the fans, you win, so we're just gonna refilm the entire final season. Hope you're happy. I, would th I thought I was done with this character, so I could go off and do Shakespeare in the park and other theater, but you know what, I, I guess I get to keep playing this character some more, so thanks to you whining and sipping cunts, uh, I still get a paycheck, so I'm actually pretty happy about that, but other than that, I hate you and I'll see you in hell. And you'll see me in the new final season of Novel Bear. We're refilming the whole thing. Cause that's what you do. Fuck you. Big money, Sylvia, this song.